grand roof in here with a quick video. I want to show proper nail placement on a shingle. I've heard a lot of people talking about that. And there's some people that may even go to the point where they fight and argue on YouTube and other areas just kind of getting kind of pointless. But the drip groove and where the nail placement should be, check your shingle manufacturer if you use something different. This is a IKO Cambridge shingle. We use a minimum of six nails near the edge, not at the edge, not too high up, not too far in. If it's too far in, wind kind of you know tugs at it, breaks it. It's too close to the edge, I've seen them pop out real easy. Not in the drip groove, I'll explain that here in a minute. Evenly space the rest in the common bond. What's the common bond? So you got your main shingle. All this is part of the shingle when it's made. This is cut out. And then further down the, the line where they make this, they actually bond what I call the laminate part. And if you look, so here's the big part here of the main shingle, the head lap, and the laminate below, you can see right where my thumbnail is, that spot right there is where you want your nails to go through two of them. Why that's so important. On steeper jobs like the one I'm on, I'll show you here in just a second, the more gravity effect you have tugging down on your shingle in the hot sun, that laminated part, if it's not pinned with a nail through it, through the common bond, it will just slide off the roof. This roof we're on, I just shot another video probably 15 minutes ago. Let me show you this little section right over here we got done. So, this mansard face here. Yeah, a little three-story kind of walkout basement area. Don't drop my phone. So it's very steep. The heat in the sun, hot summer day, the roof was only I think like 14 years old maybe. Nice dimensional shingle, but it was installed horribly wrong. So here's the laminate. If your shingle nails are too high, what happens in the hot sun, this will heat up. There's a couple strips of tar here and there's one in the common bond, not this shingle, but the one under it. And this will actually, if it's not shot through the common bond, heat up and slide right out. That's what happened on this whole section and down the brow, down that way. The insulation was horrible and the heat and the sun just, they slid right out of place. So it's very important. Now, run back over to this section here. I just took my shingles, moving on. So, there's a spot. So you don't want your nails right at the edge. Let's see if you can see it a little better. You want them in the common bond, which is what was explained between the laminate and the top part. It's kind of hidden under the headlap. And your drip groove is this section here. Water will penetrate through this. You don't want nails in that area. Some people just shoot carelessly and they get in that area. Yeah, it won't leak right away, but I guarantee you over time it will leak. I've gone to many repairs where the section and that drip groove right there, I've gone in the attics because nobody can find the leak. I see it dripping in, I mark it, shove a nail through, and I go up there and find out that they had a nail right there in that area, this general area. The galvanization coating on the nail eventually wears off. Water will drip through. Trust me, they're very hard to find. Nothing like going in a hot attic in the middle of summer when it's 90 plus degrees outside. It's hot in the attic. So avoid this section. Now, whether you're like me and you're a right-handed roofer, oh. most guys, or if you're a left-handed roofer, that drip groove could build a stagger this direction or that direction. We're right-handed, it goes up this way, so watch that section. Sometimes you bump a shingle over for various reasons, you don't want it in a drip groove. Then evenly space your other nails out throughout those sections. So there you go, more proper good nail placement. On a hot summer day, this lower part heats up. It will not slide out because it is actually pinned through the fiberglass. So I hope this helps. Don't not take consideration into this. It's very important. You don't want a reputation a couple years later putting a brand new, very expensive product on a roof and the workmanship is horrible and it causes issues, leaks, shingles heating up, sliding out, blowing out, you know, whatever. And I've actually pulled shingles for shingle manufacturer and sent them in on a warranty claim before over the years and they deny it because the installation is horrible. Not enough nails, not in the right spot. It's not on the shingle manufacturer. By that time, those companies are long gone. So watch your nail placement. 
If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Hope this video helps you. Thanks for watching.